Why take chemistry at SUNY ESF? The question, posed to a couple of recent graduates, elicited an interesting response from each. Shannon Carpenter, now a graduate student at Yale, started her chemistry career in Yon Laboratory at an early age. When I was a freshman in high school, uh, I was taking a science course, and it was an honors course, that we had to do an independent sort of a, a research project which is difficult when you're a freshman in high school. I mean, while you're like 13 years old and you're expected to, to answer some un unanswered question. Um, and I was really overwhelmed by it, but what they told us to do was to go out and find a faculty member, if we could, at one of the neighboring institutions. And since I have lived in the area all my life, I was going to school in Liverpool, um, we looked at some of the, some of the colleges in the area and uh, I just I picked out Dr. Stepanovich on the ESF webpage and I sent him an email and I said, hey, you know, I'm a freshman at Liverpool High School and I think I really like chemistry, so would you be willing to work with me on a, on a science project for, for my science class? And he said yes. And uh, that, was, that was also, I mean, that really means a lot to like a, a freshman in high school. And I got to come up here a couple times a week and see the labs. And, you know, I still remember that project pretty fondly. It was on artificial sweeteners, if you believe that. It was, on it was a really special project, but I think what, it, you know, it has greater importance even than that because it, you know, it, it put ESF pretty firmly on my map. Yingnan Lu, born in China, came to the U.S. when she was 14. So the size of the school was a determining factor. I think it's a, the class is smaller and uh, Everybody is closer. I think that made a great deal of difference for me because people like me who, when I first started college, I don't speak much of the English and I was still struggling to fit into the American culture and everything else. But ESF gave me all the attentions. If you look at the faculty to student ratio, it's extremely low compared to all the other schools. I got a lot of attentions. All the professors actually knew me from the chemistry department. Personally, too, knowing what extracurricular activities that I do and everything else. So that actually made a huge difference because they understand me personally and what I need to learn. Ding Nan worked with me for three years on various projects in my laboratory until her graduation in 2010. And now she's pursuing graduate work at MIT.